a Pandora's box could be opened in the expense scandal. The Senate's Conservative leader Marjorie LeBreton will ask the Auditor General for a comprehensive review of Senate expenses. The move is an attempt to repair the upper chamber's battered reputation, and it comes as the RCMP confirms it's taking a deeper look at this scandal. Here's Jacques Prabot. When a private audit firm was called in to look at the expenses of a handful of senators, what it found was not pretty. Dubious housing allowance and per diem claims totaling almost $200,000. The news has outraged the public, and that public anger now has the Conservatives ready to introduce a motion tomorrow, calling in the Auditor General to examine all Senate expenses to see if there are any other abuses of taxpayers' money. Most senators do conduct themselves in a, in a very uh, forthright, open, honest way and uh, have nothing to fear. Those who haven't, it's another, another, another matter. With the Auditor General on standby, the RCMP is also becoming more involved in the Senate expenses scandal. Today, confirming in a letter to the NDP, it's reviewing the $90,000 payment Nigel Wright made to Mike Duffy. We have con concerns whether or not this deal was illegal. If the RCMP is looking into the Prime Minister's office, we, we believe that's a major step. The head of the RCMP division looking into the Senate's spending abuses met with the media today, saying the Mounties are actively working this case. We've received some documents from the Senate that have been uh, very useful in uh, bringing us along in our uh, assessment around conducting criminal investigation or not. But the one investigation the government is leery of is a public inquiry. So in the light of day and in the light of sunshine, everything would be clear. Why not do that? This issue has been referred uh, to at least two independent authorities and the government will completely cooperate uh, with these authorities. Conservative MPs are not very happy with some of their Senate colleagues and today one of those backbenchers registered his displeasure by tabling a private member's bill that would take away the pension of any senator or MP convicted of a serious crime. The, the penalty should, uh, should hit the individual's wallet should they be found guilty in a, in a court of law. One more sign that the days of business as usual in the Senate are rapidly coming to a close. Shopper Bow, Global News, Ottawa.